Welcome to Rose Red Homestead. I'm standing right here by our lilac bush. It smells heavenly. It is the first week in May. Over the past five months, we have been working on a project that this video is all about. Um, and it is part of our becoming more self-sufficient. Jim and I are both in our 70s. And you know, in a few years, we're gonna be in our 80s. And what is it gonna be like managing this property uh, a decade from now? And so we're looking forward I should say we are looking in the future toward that. I'm not sure we're looking forward to being in our 80s, but we have so much fun it won't matter anyway. But we're trying to make a few changes around our place so that we can remain self-sufficient even through our older age. So one of those things is that we are going to be experimenting with um, uh, an old stock tank that we have and we are using it for a high raised bed just to try it out to see if we like it. After we see the results, we're then going to make a decision about whether we're going to get some more. So we'll get started in just a moment. this stock tank because we don't need it for anything else and it's higher than our other raised beds over here which means that we don't have to get down on our hands and knees so here's how I'm doing this I'm filling the bottom half with just the last few weeks with yard waste I'll go around and clip some of the dry stuff off of our bushes pick up some scraps from the wood pile and anything that um, will ultimately decompose I'm going to put right here in the bottom so I don't have to fill up the entire thing with good soil and then the next step will be Jim will go out to our back 40 and bring us in on the tractor and bring in a bucket of soil of dirt not the good stuff just the stuff that we have out here and we'll fill it up to within about this much and then we will put a top layer of um, organic soil where we can grow our veggies but I wanted you to see this so that you can just see that it's um, here's some fennel uh, leavings and some pieces of wood and just different things from the yard. So this is step one. This is the end of February. Tomorrow's the last day of February. I'm wanting to get this ready. It's about time to plant in a couple of weeks. So you'll notice that I have filled this up. Um, oh, I don't know, four or five more inches with some of this dirt. And um, we watered it really well so that it would sink down in to, uh, through all of the cracks and crevices in the wood and things that we put down below. Now over here, we have a raised bed that we are taking out. We're gonna reconfigure this whole area with uh, taller raised beds. And so this was the dirt that I used to fill this up. I could hardly get anything to grow here last year at all, so I think the dirt is not very good. So that's why I used it for the bottom part, which was uh, um, just trash dirt. So I'm going to uh, take this knife utility knife and slit this bag of Nutri-Mulch. This Nutri-Mulch is, um, we buy it in bags, but you can, you can buy it in bulk. We prefer bags because it's easier for us to manage. And it is um, composted turkey manure and wood chips. And so there's some organic stuff in there. I'm gonna mix this up. Once I get it mixed, then I'm going to um, fill up the next layer with this mixture. Hopefully I'm going to um, liven up this soil a bit so that it will produce some good root vegetables. So I'll be here for a few minutes doing this and we'll come back when I'm ready to put it in the tub. All right, I finished mixing, so now I'm just going to shovel it over into the tub and fill it pretty close to the top. leveled this former raised bed and we will be moving the wood sides away and leveling the ground to put our new structures in here and this is now uh, pretty good so it looks like pretty good soil now with that mixture 
There's lots of roots in here, but they are organic material, so I don't care. They're not attached to anything. I don't think they're going to sprout anything. So the only thing left to do is to add about two inches of organic material to the top, some compost, and um, then spring break is in about nine days. <laughs> so I'm going to take three days off during spring break, and uh, we'll come back and uh, do some planting here. So see you in a bit. It is March the 3rd, and I'm wanting to get this project finished so I can plant maybe a little bit later this afternoon. It's very windy. I took the afternoon off so I could come home because it's also 73 today. Tomorrow we are expecting snow. So I want to get this done. I want to show you what I've done um, with this little trellis. Um, I really believe in repurposing things when we possibly can. That's why we're doing it in this tank. And um, last night as I was falling asleep, I realized I'm gonna plant peas here. And so I need a trellis. And I looked around the property and we don't have anything I can use for a trellis. And then I remembered we had these bamboo stakes. And so I immediately got a brain flash and thought, I'll just weave one out of these bamboo stakes. And I did, except this one broke. You can see it's broken right here. So I will need to weave another one down here and then put another one on the top. Then we'll fasten it at the joints and we should have a pretty good trellis for the peas. Meanwhile, I need to drop another two inches of compost on, um, I'll move, let me move this out of the way, um, on the top of the uh, dirt here so that we can work this compost in. So Jim brought me home some bags of steer compost, organic steer compost. So I'm going to dump it right here. One of these bags, I've filled it on this side. So one fills up just about half. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is then mix this in with the soil underneath and get it all watered in and then I will probably plant seeds in just a little while. Um, I'm going to put peas on the front side here. Our sun goes this way, there's east to west, and so I try to line up the trellis with the, the uh, direction of the sun. I'm going to put peas on this side, I'm gonna put beets on this side. And um, I am not a great gardener. This is a grand experiment, having this um, high, raised bed. Um, Jim and I are preparing for old age. <laughs> We're in the 70s right now and uh, we want to keep working and uh, doing as much as we can on our property as long as we can. And so we're working on right now making it a little bit easier uh, so that we don't have to bend over so much. So um, this year is just a trial run for these high beds. And if it works, we're going to be putting some more in, taking these other ones out, putting some more in right here. So we'll come back when we have some things sprouting to show you. Hi everyone, it is now the first week in May, May the 3rd. And look at our little raised garden. It's been planted for about two months now. The little lattice uh, that we made out of our bamboo stakes is uh, um, great. It's withstood some pretty hefty wind and uh, we have some things did grow and some things didn't grow. These are peas that are just doing great on this end. They're just about to reach to where they're going to be able to start climbing up. Our weather here gets hot really, really quickly. And so probably the peas are not going to produce, but we'll see. It took them a long time to come up and none of them came up over on this half. Um, I have one a variety of beets planted right here and then another variety of beets planted right here. And these are th this side is just doing great. Uh, these were very slow to come up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, uh, get some beet greens today, and I have been thinning these beets out. This is the third time I've come out to harvest the things that are here, and oh, are they ever, ever good. And, um, I'm harvesting about half the leaves per shoot so that there will still be some left to come up. 
and I come out here every three or four days, I'm leaving this side alone. Now, one of the other things that I have done here on this side, this is all spinach and oh, it is fantastic spinach. And because it was slower to come up on this side, I have plugged in a few uh, lettuce plants from the greenhouse. And so I have lettuce here. I'm gonna grab a leaf right here. And I just mix everything together. I sort it out when I get it inside. Here's a lovely lettuce right here that's coming right along. I'm gonna take some of the outer leaves here. And here's some oak leaf lettuce and a hiding one right here. And the peas need to get over here and mind their own business. They're trying to wrap around the spinach. So then I'm gonna just harvest some spinach. The great thing about having this high, extra high raised bed is I don't have to get down on my hands and knees. The rabbits can't get to these veggies. Um, normally the rabbits would have devoured everything here. So this has really been a winning uh, experiment. And so <clears throat> I'll have to show you what we have decided as a result. I'm just gonna snip a couple more leaves here and then I'll come back to this, but come right on over here. So this is because our experiment was such a success, we tried, uh, we bought one of these and put it together to see how we would like it. And we're going to be getting three more of these. So we're gonna add four right down to the tail end of this little part of our vegetable garden. So I'm really looking forward to having these raised beds. So that, and this one is even higher than the little tank experiment. And so we'll have this one up and ready to go for some fall planting about midsummer with three of its companions and we're just gonna put them right here. Here is today's harvest. Enough beautiful, fresh, crisp spinach for supper tonight. So this was a, an overwhelming success and we'll be continuing with these high raised beds. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you at our next video.